Okay. Plumbing. When I got here, the house is vacant, so you can hear me. All right, there's my mask in case anybody shows up. I opened all the windows, turned fans on, what fans I could get to operate, and, and I, I feel good about the aerosol, so that way you can hear me. But this is the plumbing, plumbing and appliances. There's your shower right here. Look at that. Look at all that water coming back through it. Look at all that water coming back through it. Is that going to drain for us? Doesn't look like it is. I just want to see if the hot was here. I haven't operated the shower yet. I operated some other things. That's how this happened. And that's how this happened. This commode and water's been turned off to it probably because it backs up into the shower. I flushed it because it had water in it, and then that's when this started coming back out. This commode. The drain is closer than 15 inches to the cabinet, so it's kind of tight. You know, if you're right-handed, you're going to have a little trouble turning the newspaper. Anybody still read newspapers? Ah, wait a minute. we got water coming out here. We've got water coming through the... Man. Water, water, water. Water's draining from the commode after I used it. Water's coming from the shower. The... Look at that. Hot's on the left, cold's on the right. How many inches is that? <laughs> All right, let's find out. Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, it's one each side. Okay, so we're good there. We do not have this uh, scutcheon plates for the drains, but the waste arms. Hold on, with those. Let's find out. I don't know what kind of drainage is going on here. I don't want to be on this floor too long. The water's coming my way. Okay, that's only about 20 inches. I think that's probably okay. This one's going to be a little further. About 22, 23 inches. Do a little plumbing homework on that. Okay, good to know. So we're in the we already did the water meter. We already did that. Coming in here, you know why this floor is all nice and damp? Because it leaks. I mean, it backs up, excuse me. Flapper sticks and it backs up. We don't have an discussion plate. Again, hot's on the left, cold's on the right. We got some drain issues in here, man. Just saying. That's not going to be a pleasant move in pre present. Coming on along. Kitchen sink. I haven't operated that yet. You can do that. Wow. Lights, cameras, action! Sounds good. Half horsepower. Half horsepower pretty much wired in like it should be. We've had a little bit of water issues underneath here, but it's a sink, 1960s. What we don't have for the dishwasher, we do not have electric disconnect, neither garbage disposal nor the dishwasher, dishwasher, garbage disposal, neither one of these appliances are GFCI protected. There's my sticker, it should have stuck on better. Okay, the dishwasher is inoperable. I mean, it comes on, but it doesn't, the water doesn't come on. I can see that the valve's turned off. The water valve was turned off for a reason. The bathroom's already blowed up. I'm not turning that valve on, I'm sorry. So, um, you know, the seller can demonstrate how this works or doesn't work. This drain line right here is supposed to come up to the, to the top of the kitchen sink. That's your anti-siphon device. So the dishwasher, even though it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It doesn't have electric service disconnect. It does not have GFCI and does not have anti-siphon device.
that. It gets more pressure through the hot water. Might get some hot water here eventually. Okay. Food, there you go. Food waste disposal. All right, half horsepower, does not have GFCI. And also, this is, this is, this is the switch. It's not supposed to be a rocker switch. It's supposed to say on and off. And I understand that those switches are ugly compared to these. I get that. But that's what you're supposed to have. You're also supposed to have this receptacle outlet is dedicated for the refrigerator. Not the circuit, but the receptacle. So this cabinet does not have an electric receptacle on the right side of it. If, you're, if your countertop, your landing pad is wider than 12 inches, you're supposed to have an electric receptacle outlet. You have one over here, but you don't have one over here. You put the refrigerator here, you're going to be going behind it, and it's not supposed to share it with the refrigerator. It's come along the other side. We have one here on the left landing pad, but we don't have one on the right. We do not have one on the right. So, where we're at, let's just try this real quick. I should have been prepared for you as you get to see my method. Come on. Here we go. They put this nice, beautiful splash back here. I get the, oh my goodness, they installed goof rings. No, they didn't. It's just the box, but the box came out. Huh, okay. Well, just because they lucked out once, they didn't to luck out twice, didn't it? Hmm, sorry for my great prep work. I almost got this, hang on. I'm doing it left-handed. Let's see. Any credit for that? Well, I'll be okay. Well, if I can't complain, I can't complain. Everybody, everybody likes a lot of it. This is called a foul line. F O U L. That's how we talk around here. Foul line. F O U L. That's where all, it's supposed to cascade down like this. That's actually a code. It's where all the cooties hide, and the germs hide, and the bacteria hides. I said, oh, just put some bleach underneath there and clean it. Just do that. And I guess you can, I guess you can. But it's not right, it's not right. Now, I have yet to have a client call me up and say, hey bud, Thank you for that. We got that foul line taken care of. I just haven't gotten that phone call, and I would never dissuade my client from seeking perfection. But I don't know that it's ever changed. I have a very good room in the mirror, but I don't know if this has ever changed. But it's called a foul line. Okay. These all come on. There we go. This all comes on. Of course, it's on. You see it right now. It's circulating, it's circulating, it's not vented out. And it's high enough. This is the gas line coming to the cooktop. And unlike the water heater, and unlike the furnace, a drip leg is not required on this. You're not supposed to take a connector through the wall. You know, that's a shelf right there. I'm, I'm not particularly worried about that. But I will say this, this electric cable in here, it's not very well protected. Not well, very, very well protected at all. And check this out. And there's the valve. Like one door over, you gotta take the, you gotta, you gotta take this out. And you still won't be able to get to it. Maybe you just pull this out like this and then push over it after you took this one out. Is that what happens? I guess well, it's kind of hard to get to. That's so, This is your oven. The light works. We got up to 340 already. All right. Council, broil, start. This is your broil underneath here. This is your broil pan. You got one. How about that? 
Nothing fancy. You got bacon broil. Cook time. Timers are beyond the scope. Do not have self-cleaning. Oh, start. <laughs> All right. I guess it started. Come on, talk to me. But what we got here is just your basic economy oven with a broiler drawer underneath it. We've got bacon broil, we've got a light, and we've got a timer and a clock. And timers and clocks are beyond the scope. There, there's no self-cleaning going on here that I can tell. There's no convection. It's just, just a good old oven. Are you? Yeah, you're going. Cancel. Put bake on there again. See if we can get it up to 350. Coming in along here, you got three prong electric for your clothes dryer and a gas connection. And a gas valve not in use should be capped off. That should have been capped off. Hot and cold are labeled. Okay, well, let's see what we got in here. Laundry, no grounding, no GFCI. Three prong electric clothes dryer, no grounding, no GFCI. We do not have a electric receptacle outlet on the kitchen sink countertop west landing pad. We do not have an electric receptacle outlet on the cooktop east countertop landing pad. Circulating vent, just pull. Four burner whirlpool cooktop. An older an older oven. I don't see a flame underneath there. Gotta hit start. So we're at 350? Okay. Cancel. Half horsepower garbage disposal. Has a rocker switch. This is not GSCI protected. The dishwasher doesn't work. I can't get water to it. Not GSCI protected. Doesn't have electric receptacle outlet. Doesn't have the um, um, siphon loop. You know, we got the foul lines on the kitchen sink. I'm just kind of backing through here. Hall commode overflowed. Hall flush valve. That's what people call the flapper. It sticks and hangs. Uh, do not have discussion plates for either of the drain lines in either of the two bathrooms. And see all those yellow droplets in there? I don't know what that is, and I did not do it. Okay. Um, wait a minute. Ha! We're learning. I'm glad I came back. Neither the shower nor the bathtub drain right. Where are minds? I want to know. Let's go back out here. I thought I saw wet marks on the foundation perimeter when I first got here. And then whenever the toilet backed up, I thought that was it. But no, that's a, that's a history. That's a history of leaking right there. You got some drain problems here. Plunger? Huh, wonder why. Oh, maybe that'll explain all this. Maybe it won't. Is that paint? It looks like paint. Okay. Let's keep going. We're still reviewing. back along these drink this might be a little long this commode's too close shower also backs up no GFCI and no grounding 